Salman Khan's darling sister Arpita Khan's wedding update. Katrina to attend Salman's sister's wedding. Sonakshi takes on KRK. Ritik stays in Suzanne's family's good books. Big B to turn 102 years old soon. Hello, my lovelies. I love saying that. I am Mia, and this is WeChat Presents 9XE The Show. I'm hot, you're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. So we've been keeping you updated on one of the biggest weddings of the season, Salman Khan's sister Arpita's marriage to Ayush Sharma. However, the celebrations and rituals took off a little in advance. Here's what the bridal party did on Arpita's last few days as Miss Khan. Ritual. The close friends and family members have graced this occasion by giving their presents. like so much fun. Don't you just love when everyone you care about is there for you on such occasions? Which is exactly what Arpita will be getting on her wedding day. मुझे बड़ी खुशी है मुझे मुझे बेहद खुशी है कि अर्पिता की शादी हो रही है और सलमान का फोन आया मुझे और उनके साथ रहूँगा हैदराबाद में तो बेहद खुशी हो रही है मुझे और मेरी शुभकामनाएं अर्पिता के साथ उनके शोहर के साथ और उनकी जिंदगी में खुशहाली हो हेल्थ वेल्थ एंड हैप्पीनेस कपल को मिले हाँ हाँ बहुत एक्साइटेड है हम लोग जाने वाले हैं को लेकर तो मजा आने वाला है बिल्कुल अपने तहे दिल से उन्हें कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट करूँगा बधाइयाँ दूंगा लॉट्स ऑफ लव मतलब आई नोन दैट फैमिली सिंस आई वॉज बॉर्न while the guest list is pretty star studded one name is going to add a lot of value on a deeper more personal level we're talking about Katrina Kaif Katrina and Arpita became extremely close during Katrina and Salman's alleged relationship. And so Arpita insisted that Katrina be present on one of the most important days of her life. The only glitch? Katrina was to begin shooting for Fit Tour with Aditya Roy Kapoor on the 18th of November, the same day as Arpita's wedding. But she could not possibly miss Salman Bai's sister's wedding, so she did the next best thing. Katrina asked for her dates to be reworked. And thankfully, that was granted to her, which now means she can play an important part in the festivities. After all, she's as good as family where the Khan Dan is concerned. But don't expect her alleged current boyfriend Ranbir Kapoor to attend. He's busy shooting with ex-girlfriend Deepika Padukone for Tamasha. But what about the film that Katrina's put on hold? Fitur, directed by Abhishek Kapoor, is an adaptation of the Charles Dickens novel Great Expectation. It seems that Aditya plays a Kashmiri boy, Noor, and Katrina plays Firdaus. We'll get to see Rekha once again on screen playing an important part. I've got my eye on you. But it's the news that Aditya Rao Hyderi has been cast to play a young Rekha that's got us all excited. Can't wait for Fitur to hit a cinema close to us. Moving on to the handsome man of B-town, Ritik Roshan, who besides looking good is in a damn good mood these days. Now we aren't hinting at anything, but check it out for yourself. Yes, that's Ritik Roshan hugging his ex-wife, Suzanne's brother, his ex-brother-in-law, Zayed Khan. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. But so 
what, we are certainly not here to make a big deal about it. Ritik was present at the trailer launch of Zayed's film Sharafat Gai Tel Lene and trust me, he has taken the title quite seriously. Um, I think your movie is, uh, is affecting me a little negatively. I have a very profound negative effect of your, your uh, promo this evening because I feel like saying that Sharafat Gai Tel Lene now time was on Bad Badmaji. So, uh, <laughs> it's uh, <clears throat> right note to start a new chapter. Uh-huh. Now, we know he's referring to his single status, but isn't it really cool that this man is actually dealing with tough times with a dash of humor? I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I am, I am. Ritik gave this explanation to Zayed because he just could not stop gushing over him. You're a special kind of hero, in my eyes, to your parents, to your... To Mali, to your sons, and to me. And uh, I really think that uh, as a man, it has been a privilege to know another man such as you. Aw, oh, now isn't that so sweet? Nothing has changed between Ritik and Zayed, and even after Ritik's divorce from Suzanne, the equation remains intact. So, there's such thing as ex brother in laws. We will always be brothers because our relationship was never forged. It was made through sweat and, uh, and fun and moments that nobody can take away from us. And he's still going to be my brother forever. So thank you, brother. It certainly looks like their bond is strong and unbreakable. In fact, not only with Zayed, Ritik is maintaining his relationship with the rest of his former in-laws as well. We have instances like him leaving the screening of finding Fanny to visit his former father-in-law, Sanjay Khan, as soon as he got to know he wasn't keeping well. He also bought some cool stuff from Suzanne's sister Simone's luxury furniture store. And let's not forget that he gave Suzanne's other sister, Farah Khan Ali, one of his famous bang bang dares on Twitter. All this just proves that any bitterness in Ritik and Suzanne's marriage has not affected Ritik's relationship with members of the Khan family. But this is not to say he is not ready to move on. Coming up, Akshay Kumar's Money Woes. Saif and Ileana are music to our ears. So 2015 looks like it's going to be quite a good year for Akshay Kumar. He's got baby releasing and most likely brothers and Singh is bling. But what's spoiling this good year is Gabar. This South remake, co-produced by Sanjay Leela Banzali, was to release during the Republic Day weekend next year, but now it's been pushed indefinitely. We hear it may release in April or October 2015. That's a very wide window. We dug around and found out that the delay is because of a tiff between Akshay and co-producer Shabina Khan. A large part of the film is yet to be shot and it's all gone south because of money matters. Doesn't it always? Apparently, Akshay and Shabina also have creative differences, which basically means Akshay is not happy with the quality of the film. Seems like Akshay even insisted on releasing Baby before Gabar because he wasn't too sure of how Gabar would turn out. Ouch. But in this harsh world of Bollywood, there are also many milestones that actors achieve, like Govinda getting onto Twitter. Well, agreed he's gotten into social media solely to promote his movies, but which actor doesn't? So he tweets stuff like, friends use hashtag, hashtag one day to kill Dill. This got us thinking, if Twitter existed in the 80s and 90s and Govinda tweeted at the height of his fame, what would his timeline look like? Let's take a stab at it. So this is what his profile picture would look like. Colorful I must say, just like his personality. And this is what his cover photo would look like. If a picture could speak a thousand words, this would be it. His username would be Chichi from Virar at Raja Babu number one. And his description would read Abe hata sawan ki ghata dhintukle pintukle takle khak puja vatti puja soja aram se. And this is what his tweets would look like. At director Dhawan, at Raja Babu number one. Chichi yaar, where are you? His reply would be something like at director Dhawan, be there in five hours. Hashtag Mary Marzi. At Raja Babu number one, at Sanju Baba. 
ਪਾਜੀ ਲਾਸਟ ਫੋਰ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਨੰਬਰ ਸਲਮ ਡਵੈਲਰ ਟੂ ਬੀਐਮਸੀ ਅਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਰ ਕਾਇਲੇ ਖਟੀਆ ਹੈਸ਼ਟੈਗ ਸੈਲਫ ਪ੍ਰੋਮੋਸ਼ਨ ਹੈਸ਼ਟੈਗ ਜੋਕ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਡੇ ਵਿਚ ਆਈ ਹੈਪਨ ਟੂ ਅਗਰੀ ਵਿਦ ਦੈਨ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਥਿਸ ਪਿਕਚਰ ਹੈਸ਼ਟੈਗ ਜੇਲ ਆਫ ਰੌਕ ਹੈਸ਼ਟੈਗ ਗਰੇ ਗਰੇ ਮੁੱਖੜੇ ਪੇ ਕਾਲਾ ਕਾਲਾ ਚਸ਼ਮਾ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਫੁੱਟਲੇ ਵਟਲੇ ਸ਼ਾਣਾ ਬਣ ਕੇ ਕਟਲੇ ਕਿਆ ਹੈਸ਼ਟੈਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਨਾਈਟ ਹੈਸ਼ਟੈਗ Well that's what Govinda would have said but here's what his co-stars from Happy Ending have to say about their music. We sat down with Saif and Eliana for a musical chat. What's up what's good and what's happening? My name is Vineet Kumar and I'm sitting here with two very interesting people from the cast of Happy Ending ladies and gentlemen Saif Ali Khan and Eliana De Cruz. What's up guys? How's it been going? It's going really well. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to jump into the music bit. Yes. The music now is by Sachin and Jigar. Yes. Now when you hear good songs like that, all the songs are brilliant by the way. Yeah. And when you hear songs like that, do you do you get pumped up even before you start shooting for the videos and stuff like that? Do you start imagining it, how it's going to be? Yeah, it really helps if you like the song, you know. It's sometimes you grow to like the song, sometimes you know, you don't like the song. And uh this time I loved all the songs. So it's great. And uh you do you do that as well? Do you get pumped up? I I do. but i think with with this film we've had so okay. many different songs and i remember hearing the songs way before we shot for them i didn't really shoot for any song per se because except for deep heart game because everything else is more you know for montage is i'm a beatboxer as well there are three simple steps yes yeah first one is like saying the letter b without the e just the b but it's like but like is it yeah, it's like you're spitting at someone yeah. but without the saliva it's like a pun thing yeah Now the second sound is like saying the letter T without the E. He's spitting on me, man. I just spit on you. You did. I'm sorry. Man. Listen, I'm my spit is considered sacred in some cultures, man. Be happy. I'm going to I'm going to keep his spit right here. Just be <laughs> I bless you with the spit of Saf. Before we leave, there's something that I noticed that bothered me very much What? in uh Jaisalmer Ratu. You push her ice cream down. Yes, why, why would you? Just Chef, do you have something to tell Eliana? I'm sorry that I did that. And I'm sorry. That you'll never And I'll never do it again. Uh, nonetheless, thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. You. Good interviews. I the quality of interviews have really improved in our country and I'm really happy because it can be tiring but when you meet such lovely people you don't mind talking Although, and they bring out good parts of your no, personality you can, you can love you bro. and yeah. they should all get paid uh, more because it's just you know this kind of this kind of <laughs> is invaluable man and you don't pay them enough yes the yeah thank you so pay them much all. i hope you do okay. you deserve thank it you so bro much. and we all are going to have a happy ending take care bye bye and see you bye. coming up so nachi lashes out at kamal arkan I know there's still time for Christmas, but I thought of playing Santa to Amir Khan. His wish is a little difficult to fulfill, but I'm going to try my best. While shooting for PK, Amir had expressed to Sanjay that his desire to play circuit. Munna bhai, series mein to circuit mein zarur banna chahunga agar Arshad mujhe uh, permission de to. Arshad ke permission ke bagair nahi. Lekin wo maine Sanju se kaha tha shooting par hum log uh, mazak kar rahe the aur मेरे दिल में ये बात आई कि यार संजू आई एम वेरी फॉन्ड ऑफ संजू संजू के साथ बड़ा मज़ा आया मुझे काम करके तो मैंने उससे कहा कि यार मुन्ना भाई मैं काश मैं सर्किट होता तो मुझे अच्छा लगता वंडर वट आरशद But if not this wish, what about the other one? मैं तो चाहूँगा कि इसका सीक्वल बने और सलमान और मैं एक दफ़ा फिर अंदाज अपना अपना टू करें कभी ऐसा मौका मिलेगा तो मुझे बड़ी खुशी होगी नाउ आई रियली वांट दिस टू हैपन विद द न्यूज़ ऑफ अ सीक्वल टू एंडस अपना अपना हिटिंग द हेडलाइंस यू नेवर नो वी माइट जस्ट गेट लकी एंड कैन वॉच द कैमरारी बिटवीन अमर एंड प्रेम वंस अगेन ये तो मैं पिछले 20 साल से सुन रहा हूं Moving on, Sonakshi Sinha comes across as a fun, chilled out girl, someone you'd want to invite over for a pajama party and discuss boys with. Oh, but don't you let yourself be fooled. Rub her the wrong way and you've had it. 
troublemaker Kamel Arkan, popularly known as KRK, in a very bad move, decided to put out a survey on his Twitter account. Now get this, the survey was about who in Bollywood has the best body parts. We swear, we are not making this up. Sonakshi rightly took massive offense to this. She hit back at him in the language he understands. Please RT this if you think at Kamal Arkan is a woman disrespecting waste of space and deserves to be hung upside down and given four tight slaps. To which he had an extremely chivalrous response. Not. As you at Sonakshi Sinha think that this survey is a disrespect of women, so you are disqualified and out of the competition. Sorry to hurt your feelings. Oh, we're sure she's crying into a pillow somewhere. Come with me. Hold on, there's more. So Nakshi Sena knows very well that my name will give her film good publicity, so she is using my name perfectly, and I'm fine with it. We mean, seriously, this guy needs a reality check and fast. So there's no doubt that Sonakshi is one firebrand and has much Tevar to go with it. Which brings us to the trailer of her latest film, Tevar, with Arjun Kapoor. Here's what we think of it. So I came back and I brought the film Tevar ka trailer. Now, before we look at the trailer, dekhe, मुझे आपको याद दिलाना है मोशन पोस्टर में इट सेड अर्जुन कपूर सोनाक्षी सिन्हा मनोज बाजपेयी लाइक नेवर सीन बिफोर मैंने ट्रेलर देखा तो ट्रेलर की शुरुआत होती है मनोज बाजपेयी से जो एक पॉलिटिकल रैली के क्राउड में बात कर रहे हैं आई एम नॉट श्योर कि अगर मेरी नाक के नीचे से कोई लड़की को ले जाए भगा तो मैं एक पॉलिटिकल रैली में जाके स्पीकर पर सबके सामने ये बात कहूं बट देन अगेन That's just me. Now that you've established कि हीरो जो है वो सलमान खान का फैन है तो जितने भी सलमान खान के फैन है सब ये ट्रेलर देख के बोलेंगे ये तो भाई का फैन है पिक्चर देखना पड़ेगा पिक्चर देखना पड़ेगा ये ना ज्यादातर लोगों की प्रॉब्लम है कि वो लोग पहले करते हैं बाद में सोचते हैं बट क्या किया है वाह वाह The trailer looks full on झिंग बैंग रैप चांड आई मस्ट से सम शॉर्ट लुक रियली कूल आगरा को हमने पहले इस कलर में कभी देखा नहीं है ऐसे शॉर्ट टेकिंग हमने ज्यादातर देखे नहीं है अर्जुन कपूर इन्होंने इससे भी पहले काफी एक्शन फिल्में की हैं गुंडे हो या औरंगजेब हो बट इस फिल्म के ट्रेलर के एक्शन सीक्वेंसेस देखने के बाद आई कैन से ऑफिशियली बॉस देर इज अ न्यू एक्शन हीरो इन टाउन नाउ वॉट आई एम पर्सनली लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू इज मनोज बाजपेयी इन दिस फिल्म और हीरो के एक कूल वन लाइन के बगैर आज तक कोई ट्रेलर कंप्लीट हुआ है क्या तो ये थी मेरी विशेष टिप्पणी फिल्म तेवर के ट्रेलर पर मैं आपको मिलूंगा अगले हफ्ते एक नए ट्रेलर के साथ तब तक के लिए माय नेम इज प्रभु दायमा एंड आई एम आउट ऑफ योर कमिंग अप अमिताभ बच्चन टू सेलिब्रेट हिज हंड्रेड एंड सेकेंड ईयर शाहरुख प्लेजेस टू रीड ए बैड हैबिट Hi guys, we're back and you are watching WeChat Presents 9XE the show. And now let's check in to see if the collections of Kill Dill have really been killer or not. Here's our box office update. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and I'm here to give you the box office collection for this week. तो इस हफ्ते रिलीज हुई किल किल दिल दिल किल दिल किल दिल एंड ऑन फ्राइडे इट कलेक्टेड 6.5 करोड़, ऑन सैटरडे इट कलेक्टेड 6.7 करोड़ and on sunday it collected approximately 6.5 crores so the total weekend collection for kill dil was approximately 19.7 crores now if you go to ask me i think it was going to do better than this that was it for this weekend i shall see you next week this is rahul and i'm signing off another interesting update that has happened is that the terribly inappropriate but oh so funny film horrible bosses has returned for a second installment and if the trailer is anything to go by then it's funnier and more inappropriate this time around and we can't wait to watch it amita bachan is going to turn 102 next year no nope, we've not got our hands on a time travel machine before i say more let's give you a glimpse of how a 102 year old amita bachan would would look like step 1 take the latest picture of mr bachan step 2 with that magical paint brush do some really cool makeup step 3 add some sexy gray dreadlocks tada we imagine this is how mr bachan will look when he is 102 of course the hollywood makeup team hired for the film will do a much better job with those prosthetics 
73-year-old Amitav Bachchan is going to play a 102-year-old man in a film called 102 Not Out. It's about a man who wants to create a world record by living the longest. The film's an adaptation of a very popular Gujarati play which goes by the same name. When we spoke to director Umesh Shukla, he said, I had asked Amit Ji if he wants to see the play once to get an idea about it, but he refused because he wanted to have a fresh take on it. I'm floored by his professionalism because he has always given all our script drafts a patient hearing. Samia Joshi, writer Abhijat Joshi's brother, who wrote the play, has written the script as well. And Mr. Bachchan loved the way he has transformed the play from stage to screen and has given his nod to start prepping. So we are extremely kicked now and we can't wait to start filming. With that positive nod, the movie is going on floors in the second half of next year. This is going to be some really cool stuff. I never knew aging could be so fun. But we also have Shah Rukh Khan talking some serious stuff here. Owning up to your bad habits is tough, but Shah Rukh is doing just that. It's the worst habit that you can ever have. Now really, Shah Rukh had something bad about him. Yes, I should. I should quit. Yes. I should be the first one to quit. We all know Shah Rukh isn't a quitter, but about this one, he is quite serious. We have seen him getting uncomfortable with his cigarette packets in front of the media. We are aware of Shah Rukh being a smoker, but he is planning to genuinely get rid of this bad habit. I would say this on behalf of my kids, please do not ever smoke. Smoking is the worst habit that you can ever have. So even for trials and... Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think, uh, uh, yes, I should, I should quit, yes. I should be the first one to quit and inshallah I will try my best. And if the best is not good enough, I'll try even harder. Well, we hope you do that soon, Mr. Khan, because we all know that your habit upsets daughter Suhana. Now, you wouldn't want your darling daughter to be sad, right? With Shah Rukh hoping to quit smoking, all you SRK fans, why don't you all give it a shot? And trust me, it isn't a drag, it comes straight from the heart. King. King <laughs> I'm going to take your leave, but keep watching 9XE The Show. It's certainly not injurious to your health. For the latest Bollywood updates, don't forget to log on to our website, 9XE.com, and our YouTube channel. Au revoir. I am learning French, by the way. Mwah.